Sat New Dawn Satellite. It's a beautiful night here in Karoo, and actually, we haven't had rain all day long, so it's been a uh, super day. Uh, we uh, see the two arms that uh, surround the Ariane 5. Are they holding the rocket up? No, no, the, it is only the gravity is holding the 780-ton RN5 upright. These two arms are used to support the fuel lines which are topping off the liquid propellants. We continue to top off the cryogenic fuel until just before launch. It is extremely cold and obviously here in Kuru it's really hot. So the fuel boils off and we have to keep the tanks full. Boy, I'm getting excited. What are we going to see in the final seconds before liftoff? Then you will see these two arms withdraw a few seconds before main engine ignition at H0. Then the Vulcan 2 engine will burn for 7 Atos seconds, video. while the computers Atos make a final check of all systems. Minute. Then the signal is sent to the two solid boosters to ignite, Top. and now and then RN5 leaves minute. the pad. And there was the announcement that uh, we have uh, entered the final minute of the countdown. The VIPs heading out to the balcony. We welcome everybody around the world viewing this live webcast of the 201st Ariane mission on arianespace.com. And special greetings to our friends and industrial partners uh, around the world. Uh, Julia, my friend, uh, we're, we're at the magic moment. Yeah, finally, we suddenly will we'll do it tonight. And... We approach uh, to the famous final countdown to the launch of this Ariane 5 with the Asset 1A and Intosat New Dawn tonight. Absolutely. The moments tick away, and here is that countdown from Carver. Atos de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcan. Allumage des EAP. Décollage. Absolutely awesome. The Ariane 5 ECA has roared into the skies above Peru. This is my fourth time here, and it takes my breath away every single time. As we close in on the one-minute mark, Ariane 5 is about to break the sound barrier here in Karu. And I know from experience, in just a moment, this building is going to start shaking as that Ariane goes over. And we can hear the sound now. You can hear it right now, yeah. And how impressive it is once again with these beautiful images uh, of this flight during the day with the sunlight. And there, there are 1,300 tons of thrust is breaking the Ariane 5 free from Earth gravity. 90% of that power is coming from the two boosters. Each one is 31 meters, about 100 feet tall and are burning 240 tons of solid propellant in two minutes, more than two tons per second. When the boosters have done their job in less than a minute, from now Ariane will be about 70 kilometers into the sky and traveling at more than one mile per second, much faster than a bullet. We're in a soundproof booth and it is still rumbling here at Jupiter. Uh, Julian, the green screen that we followed before has been replaced by a chart and a moving dot. What's that representing and what about the numbers below there? So, in fact, these curves on the left show the predicted trajectory profile and the moving dot is the current position of Ariane 5. The V stands for velocity and A stands for altitude. Okay, we want that dot to follow the curve? Yeah, absolutely. This data is coming from Galio, the tracking station on a big hill behind Jupiter. Engineers there are evaluating all the data in real time. Already, and we just uh, saw the burnout and the jettison of the twin solid rocket boosters high in the sky, and uh, they are going to end up, of course, in the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, and we can see it very well on this picture. It's a uh, real, uh, real uh, live data, a live video. And the boosters have done their job, and we don't need them anymore. They drop away, and the mass of the launcher is now 180 tons. So we've lost 600 tons in about a couple of minutes. Wow, the lighter we are, the faster we go. 
Yeah, what an incredible shot as you see them uh, fall away. And, of course, the Arian 5 in the center. At uh, 3 minutes, 4 seconds into the mission, all is well. And we see uh, some images of the fairing coming up uh, in a moment. And uh, what is the purpose? And we just heard the separation of the quap. What's the purpose this of it? fairing that, that has just separated is... It has protected the Acid-1A and Intersat-Newdown on the ground before launch and after liftoff from acoustic vibration and... Uh